this is Teacher Malu and welcome back again sa Math Habit. So in this video, pag-aaralan natin ang integers, ang introduction ng integers, ang comparing, and then the addition and subtraction of integers. Okay. Okay, so bago yan, mag-start muna tayo sa definition of terms. Okay, so ito ang uh, tinatawag natin na number line. Ang integers are positive or negative numbers. While yung positive integers are whole numbers to the right of zero. Sila yung mga positive number na nasa kanang bahagi ng ating zero sa ating number line. While yung negative integers are the whole numbers to the left of zero. So sila naman yung nasa kaliwa ng ating zero. While yung zero naman is an integer but neither positive nor negative. Hindi siya positive, hindi rin siya negative number. Siya yung tinatawag natin na neutral number. Okay? So next. Okay, so ang positive integers, nag express din siya ng ideas ng pagtaas, ng gain, or ng profit. The sign for positive integer, integer is yung parang plus sign. However, the sign is not always needed kasi hindi siya lagi kailangan kasi meaning yung may sign ng plus sign, for example, yung positive 3 is the same value as 3. So kapag nakita natin yung 3, ibig sabihin positive value siya. At pag nakita din natin na merong parang plus sign sa unahan ng number, positive value pa rin siya. So either way, tama pa rin siya. So yung negative integers naman natin, it expresses ideas of down or a loose. Yung pagbaba o yung pagka lugi. The sign for a negative integer is parang minus sign siya. And yung sign na yun is always needed. Okay, so saan ba natin ginagamit ang... O saan natin ini apply ang integers? Okay, so one uh, basic example or use ng integers in real life situations is yung uh, in thermo the thermometer. Okay, the thermometer in this picture, it indicates the temperature of 10 degrees Celsius. The number 10 is a positive integer. It is great because it is greater than zero. Okay, so kapag lumamig naman, when it gets very cold, the temperature drop below zero. So yung thermometer now reads as 10 degrees below zero. So, kapag below zero siya, ang basa na sa kanya is negative 10 degrees Celsius. So, another situation kung saan natin uh, pwedeng gamitin ang integers. Okay, so we have here in this picture, we have a uh, sea level. So, above sea level, yun yung mga positive integers natin. For example, this one, the airplane is 80 meters above sea level. So, while yung mga uh, height below sea level naman, yun yung mga negative integers natin. For example, there are fishes 100 meters below sea level. So, ito yung negative 100. Okay, so yun lang yung mga ilan sa mga examples kung saan pwede natin i-apply yung mga positive and negative integers. Okay, now let's compare integers. Okay, now let's compare integers. We can use a number line to compare integers. Okay, so ito yung ating number line. Okay, so any number to the right of zero gets bigger and bigger as you move to the right. So lahat ng number na nasa kanan ng zero ay palaki ng palaki habang lumalayo siya sa zero. For example, yung 8 is mas malaki siya sa 1 kasi mas malayo siya sa zero. Okay, yung 9 mas malaki siya sa 4 kasi mas malayo siya sa zero. So yun yung... Okay. While any number to the left of zero gets smaller and smaller as you move to the left. So, kabalik tara nung uh, kanan na palaki ng palaki sa kaliwa naman, habang lumalayo naman yung mga number sa kaliwa ng zero, paliit ng paliit yung kanilang uh, value. For example, yung negative 1 is mas malaki kaysa sa negative 7 kasi mas malapit siya sa zero. Okay, so ang concept, kung alin yung mas malapit sa zero na negative number, siya yung mas malaki yung value. Okay, for example, yung negative 4, mas malaki siya sa negative 10 kasi mas malapit siya sa 0. Okay, so that's how you uh, compare the positive and negative numbers. Okay. okay, so now let's practice comparing the integers. So we have here number 1, 3 and negative 2. Okay, so since uh, it's obvious naman, we have positive and negative 2. So at nasa right side, yung positive 3. At yung negative 2 ay nasa left side. So, it's obvious na 3 is greater than negative 2. Okay. So, in number 2, meron tayong negative 4 at negative 1. Okay. So, since mas malayo sa number line, yung negative 4 kaysa sa negative 1, mas malapit yung 0. So, therefore, negative 4 is uh, less than negative 1. Okay. So, we have here 12 and 8. So, okay. So, mas malaki syempre yung 12. So, 12 is greater than 8. 
Okay, in number 4, we have negative 7 and negative 1. So, since mas malapit yung negative 1 sa so 0, so mas malaki siya kaysa sa negative 7. Therefore, negative 7 is less than negative 1. And then, we have 5 and negative 3. So, it's obvious naman na, na since nasa right side yung 5 and nasa left side yung negative 3 and positive yung isa and negative yung isa. So, therefore, uh, mas malaki ang 5 kaysa sa negative 3. Okay, so that's how uh, you compare the integers. Okay, now, mag-proceed na tayo on how to add and subtract the integers. Okay, so mag add na tayo at mag-subtract na integers. Okay, una, pag-aralan muna natin yung addition rule. Okay, so una, meron tayong first rule, when the signs are the same, add and keep the sign. Kapag daw ang sign ng number na ini-add is pareho, so gawin lang yung operation na addition and keep the sign. Kung ano yung sign ay uh, yun din ang magiging sign ng sagot. For example, uh, we have here positive 2 plus positive 4 is equal to positive 6. So, parehas ng sign, kaya i-add natin siya and then yung magiging sign niya is positive 6 pa rin. While in this case naman, mayroon tayong negative 2 plus negative 4. So, parehas ng sign, kaya i-add natin siya. So, negative 2 plus negative 4 is negative 6. I-add natin siya and gagayahin natin yung kanyang sign. Kaya siya naging negative 6. Okay, yun yung first rule in adding integers. Okay, so we have rule number 2. When the signs are different, subtract and use the sign of the larger number. Yun. Kapag naman ang signs are mag ay magkaiba, isusubtract yung ina-add, yung ating addition na operation ay magiging subtraction and ang gagamitin na sign ay kung alin yung mas malaking number. Okay, for example, ito. So, we have negative 2 plus 4. Okay, since magkaiba ng sign, yung, yung 2 is negative, yung 4 is positive. So, yung operation natin, isusubtract natin. So, negative 2 minus 4 is 2. And then, kung ano yung mas malaki na number, yun yung susundin natin yung kanyang sign. Okay, since nasa negative 2 at saka 4, mas malaki yung positive 4, kaya ang sagot natin is positive 2. Okay, so another one, we have 2 plus negative 4. Okay, magkaiba yung sign, yung 2 natin is positive, yung 4 natin is negative. So, isusubtract natin. Uh, 4 minus 2 is 2. Pero, this time, since mas malaki yung negative uh, number natin, which is negative 4, kaya yung magiging final answer natin is negative 2. Okay, so yun yung dalawang rule na kailangan natin la dapat laging tandaan kapag nag a tayo ng integers. Okay, so mag-practice pa tayo ng mga problems. Pwede nyo i-pause yung video na to para ma-practice nyo yung knowledge nyo sa addition of integers. And then kapag tapos na kayong magsagot, uh, pwede nyo na uling it ituloy at panoorin para ma-check nyo rin yung mga sagot nyo. Okay, so let's have example number one. Okay, we have 3 plus 2. So same sign sila kaya... Let's proceed to addition. So, and then, since positive sila, ang sagot natin is uh, positive. So, 3 plus 2 is equal to positive 5. Okay. We have number 2, negative 1 plus negative 3. Okay. Since, uh, same sign. So, sundin natin yung operation na addition. So, negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4. Since, ang kanilang sign is negative 4, kikip natin yung kanyang sign. And then, number 3, we have negative 5 plus 5. Magkaiba sila ng sign, kaya isusubtract natin sila. So, 5 minus 5 is 0. So, walang sign ang 0 kasi siya ay uh, it's neither positive or uh, negative. Kaya siya ay neutral number. Okay, kaya 0. 0 lang siya. And then, number 4, we have negative 9 plus 3. So, different sign. So, isusubtract natin ang 9 minus 3, which is 6. So, ang magiging sign niya is uh, negative kasi mas malaki yung negative 9 sa positive 3. So, we have negative 6. Number 5, negative 10 plus 5. So, magkaiba ng sign, kaya isusubtract natin. So, 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. And then, ang ating sign is negative kasi mas malaki yung negative 10 sa positive 5. Okay, number 6, negative 15 plus 32. So, magkaiba ng sign, kaya isusubtract natin sila. But this time, mas malaki yung positive number natin, kaya susundin natin is positive sign. So, negative 15 plus 32 is positive 17. Okay, number 7, we have 5 plus 3, parehas ng sign kaya. Let's proceed to addition. So, 5 plus 3 equals 8, since positive sila. Okay, number 8, negative 4 plus 7, different sign, kaya isusubtract natin. So, 7 minus 4 is 3, eh, since mas malaki yung positive 7, kaya positive 3. Okay, number 9, we have negative 5 plus negative 4, same sign, kaya 
proceed tayo sa addition. So, negative 5 plus negative 4 is 9. So, we we will use negative kasi negative yung inad natin. So, negative 9 is the final answer. And then, yung number 10, we have negative 3 plus positive 9. So, magkaiba ng sign. So, subtract natin. 9 minus 3 is 6. And then, we will follow uh, positive 9 kasi mas malaki yung uh, positive 9. So, we have here positive 6. Okay. So, yan. Kung ganyan po yung uh, pag-a-add ng ating integers. Okay, so yan, ganyan kung paano tayo mag-add ng uh, integers. Okay, so ngayon naman, pag-aralan natin ang subtraction. So kung sa addition, meron tayong addition rule. Sa subtraction, meron din tayong subtraction rule. Okay, so ano yun? When subtracting, apply the KCC rule or keep change change and then follow the addition rule. Okay, so kapag nagsusubtract na integers, so ito yung lagi yung tatandaan. Meron tayong KCC which stands for keep, change, change. So, paano to mag-work? Okay, so let's have example 1. Meron tayong negative 4 minus negative 7. Okay, so yung ating first term sa equation, which is negative 4, ikikip lang natin siya kung negative 4 siya, as is lang siya as negative 4. And then yung ating operation na subtraction, i-change natin siya into addition. And then yung ating negative 7 sa equation, i-change din natin siya, gagawin natin siya na positive 7. Okay, so na-apply na natin yung KCC rule sa ating subtraction equation. Ngayon naman, follow natin yung addition rule. So, ang equation na natin ngayon is negative 4 plus positive 7. So, kung susundin natin yung addition rule, different sign sila, kaya isusubtract natin and use the sign of larger number. So, subtract natin sila ngayon and then yung final answer, ang gagamitin natin na sign is kung alin yung mas malaking number dun sa ating terms sa ating equation. So, negative 4 plus neg positive 7. So, magiging 7 minus 4 is equal to positive 3. Since, mas malaki yung positive 7 kaysa sa negative 4. Okay. So, that's how we subtract integers. Okay. So, let's have example number 2. Meron tayo dito negative 3 minus 7. Okay. First, we have to apply the KCC or the keep change change. Okay. Yung negative 3. Let's apply keep as is lang siya. Kung negative 3, negative 3 pa rin siya. And then, yung ating minus magiging plus. And then, change. Yung ating positive 7, i-change natin into negative 7. Okay. So, apply na natin yung KCC rule. Kaya, follow na natin yung addition rule. Okay. We have now negative 3 plus negative 7. So, same sign sila. So, we have to add and, and keep the sign. So, 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. And then, negative siya kasi, negative yung uh, uh, dense natin o yung ni-add natin na mga numbers. Okay, so yan yung rule in subtracting integers. Okay, so practice tayo ng subtraction of integers. So, wag na wag kakalimutan na i-apply muna yung KCC rule and then, pag na-apply na yung KCC rule, follow the uh, addition rule. Okay, so we have here 8 exercises. Okay, so you can pause this video first kung gusto nyo mag-practice. Pause nyo muna yung video na to. And then, after nyo magsagot, saka nyo uli i-play para makita nyo or ma-check nyo kung tama yung inyong mga answers. Okay, so let's start. Number one, we have 4 minus negative 3. Okay, so apply KCC rule. Magiging 4 plus positive 3. Okay, so then follow the addition rule. So since same sign sila, we just have to add them and then... 4 plus 3, magiging 7. Since positive yung addend, so positive 7 yung final answer. Then number 2, we have 5 minus 6. So apply KCC rule, magiging 5 plus negative 6. So following the addition rule, different sign sila. So isusubtract natin, 6 minus 5 is 1. So ang sign natin, since mas malaki yung negative number natin, kaya negative 1. Then number 3, we have negative 4 minus 10. Applying KCC rule, magiging negative 4 plus negative 10 siya. And then, follow the addition rule. Same sign sila. So, we have to add uh, 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. So, since negative yung ating addends, kaya negative 14 yung final answer. Number 4, meron tayong 2 minus 6. So, uh, rewrite in case CC rule, magiging 2 plus negative 6. So, since different sign, so subtract natin sila. 6 minus 2, equals 4. So, since mas malaki yung negative number, kaya negative 4 ang answer. So, number 5, 3 minus 3. 
So, 3 magiging 3 plus negative 3. So, uh, since different sign, so subtract, 3 minus 3 is 0. No sign kasi 0 is neutral number. Number 6, 4 minus negative 2. So, magiging 4 plus positive 2 applying KCC rule and then follow the addition rule. 4 plus 2 is 6 since positive ang uh, terms sa ating equation. Number 7, 5 minus negative 4 is equal to 5 plus positive 4 and then follow the addition rule 5 plus 4 is equal to positive 9. Next, negative 9 minus negative 5, KCC rule. We have negative 9 plus positive 5. So, following the addition rule, magiging subtraction siya since different sign. And then, since 9 minus 5 is 4. And since mas malaki yung negative number na negative 9, kaya negative 4 yung final answer. Okay, so that's it. Ganyan, mag-subtract ng integers. So, I hope natutunan kung paano mag-compare ng integers at mag-add at mag-subtract ng ating integers. Ganyan din, that I hope natutunan yung mga basic terms sa ating uh, integers.